Hey guys, Whip here and welcome back to Minecraft. In today's video, we are going to be building this ship right here behind me. It's an awesome little fishing vessel and it's going to be pretty simple. It's actually really, really quick to build and super easy and it's, I, I really love it. So I hope you guys too. So let's get on with the tutorial. Okay guys, to get this started, we want to start off with a dark oak planks line at that water level there that is 15 blocks long. So we're just going to fill this guy in here. We're going to go to the front here real quick. And from the front, you want to count back two spaces, then start doing those dark oak slabs underneath to just get those guys in place. And then from the back, you're doing upside down stair, then a regular stair and a slab underneath that guy to finish off the back dark oak trim at a full block. And then two more stairs with two slabs on it, kind of like you're seeing there. So the shape's looking like that. Then we're come over to the front here real quick to get this front guy on. It's really, really simple. So just add a slab, full block on that. We make a little mistake here. We're going to correct it later. So that actually needs to be back one block there. But here at the top, you want to go ahead and add four spruce logs going out the front just to get that extra little bit of detail. It'll make sense here in the later. Moving on a little bit. Now we're going to work on the shape of the hole. We're using birch block. Go ahead and add a uh, upside down stair there. Bring in full blocks until you see three dark oak blocks out the back and then go ahead and add in a slab there. Next, you want to take spruce slabs and right after the birch stair until spruce slabs hit the full <laughs> one birch block back, you're going to go ahead and put in slabs right there. Then you're going to place full spruce blocks on top of those guys. And it still gets a little interesting there. Uh, stairs on the back, two upside down stairs, then a regular stair on the front. You want to place a full spruce block, then one more right there. And this is where we fix that little mistake. So that stair is going to actually go back one. And it's going to be pretty easy right there. You see we make that little fix and it all lines up. Then your upside down stair, two trap doors, going to round it out on the front there. And bring that up to another little guy right there. There's a little gap there, but we'll fix this later. Moving here to the back though, we're going to be adding in a full block and another stair right back there. And just like that. And then you're going to do full blocks on both of those guys. Then for the side trim, go ahead and do three slabs, three trap doors, and three more slabs. So just like that. And now you guys want to go ahead and redo this on the other side. Just copy it over, get it all exactly same on the other side. It's super simple. We're gonna do it here real fast. And then we'll just work on the rest of the boat. And then we're gonna work on filling in the interior. So I'll meet up with you guys in a sec. All right, now to fill in the interior, you want to go ahead on the middle of both those three slabs, place in a spruce oak or spruce log beam, and then on the front do two oak slabs or oak stairs, sorry, then fill in full blocks in there, just get it filled in. You want to go ahead and bring two more spruce logs down, a little half slab and a trap door, and then fill in those gaps in the back with those spruce slabs and oak slabs just to get that extra little bit of rounded effect like what we're looking for here. Then on the back, this guy's gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna do three stairs offset the middle one back a block and then you're going to fill in that top area with the slabs like you're seeing there so that's pretty much the whole interior now we're going to work on the mass themselves so the front one is gonna be 13 blocks tall and the back one is going to be 11 blocks tall this guy's super easy to do do two three fences on the top of the front one two fences on the back one now follow this right here you're going to step it out one do an upside down stair to make it blend in a little bit better and then on the back, we're going to count. So you're counting down one and a half blocks on the front one, two and a half blocks on the back one. And you're just trying to get these guys right in there, just to make them slope up real nice. Now on the bottom, you want to count down five wool blocks and then copy the same layout that we have on the top and don't fall off the boat. And then do that exact same level on the front and copy from pretty much what's right above it. So stepping back two on that guy right there. Now on the front here, you want to start from the very top, do three oak fences, then three more, then step down one at a time. If you line this guy up correctly, it should meet up at the very front of the boat, just like that. Now we're going to work on getting these masts in because it's getting pretty much to the end point. So these guys, we're going to do them sticking out. There's no real rhyme or reason to how this looks. You pretty much just want to make it for whatever looks nice to you. Uh, if you, we're going to slow it down here so you guys can watch this and copy it as you go. I didn't have a method for it, I just kind of filled them in try to make it look like the wind's gonna push it out so you can see there we're trying to bring them out just make it look like the winds push them all to the same side everything's going in the same direction that's the main goal you want here if you're gonna add some you can go ahead and add some flags to the top of those little fence pillars if you wanted to it's not really needed it's a little small for that on this boat so I don't really think it make that much sense 
Here on the front though, you wanna go ahead and keep that coming out to the same right there. So we got three masts on this guy and it looks pretty great. We're trying to link it up there in the bottom center just to have another tie down point. I wanted to go ahead and experiment here and just add in some light gray wool and add some stripes and so you guys can fall through with this as well if you would like to. It's pretty simple, it's super easy and it, just, it works really well. I don't know what to tell you guys, it works really, really well having that. If you wanna see the mask close, however, Go ahead and watch the beginning of the video. If you want to like dock or something, that's where it is in the beginning of the video, let's go ahead and do that. We're flying around the ship right here and we're gonna add in the interior from this side. We're gonna use little crates here using trapdoors to make the outside. And in the back there, we do just a little item frame to signify the wheel because we don't really have one that can be that small. We're using prismarine block there to make like fish or something. Then we have an open crate in the back or open chamber I guess for fish to be stored because it's a fishing boat after all so we need to have some of those guys in there then we just add a bunch of other crates and chests and those are note blocks in there that uh those crates you can actually use the regular ones without them textured into crates and it looks like a crab pot so it works both ways anyways guys that's pretty much it for the fishing boat go ahead and decorate it however you want whatever colors you would like besides this I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode or this tutorial I guess please let Hit that like button if you did enjoy, subscribe if you loved it, and let me know down in the comments below what you guys liked, anything you guys would want to see changed in the style of tutorial video here, and if there's anything else I can do to make another tutorial for, anything from the building with Whip World, decidedly vanilla world, whatever it might be, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'm always happy to do tutorials on this stuff, and I'm having a lot of fun doing these in replay mod. I'm finding them to be really, really fun, so I will see you guys in the next episode.